Hi, so I recently heard about this thing called the dream gap, and I keep thinking about it. The idea of the dream gap is that there are many girls between the ages of six and seven who start to doubt themselves and their capabilities, which then sadly might limit their dreams. And I think one of the reasons why this might happen is they might not have role models when they're little or ever. There are girls and women doing amazing things all the time, but maybe girls and boys aren't aware of them. So that's why I like to share my role models, their stories of success and failure to inspire everyone like they've inspired me. So in honor of role models, here are some of mine. I am a huge Chloe Kim fan. The snowboarder from the Winter X Games, watching her board is like watching ballet. Hello, so Chelsea and I were jumping on the trampoline this morning. You know, flying. And I was telling her all about Amelia Earhart. She is one of the most famous pilots in the world and a role model of mine. Now, most people know her as the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. But that's just part of her really interesting story. Amelia Earhart flew for the first time when she was 23 years old in 1920, and she fell in love. In just two years, she had already earned her pilot's license, saved up to buy a secondhand two-seater plane, which she called Canary because it was bright yellow. A few years after, Amelia received a call. They asked her if she wanted to be the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. Well, Amelia was fearless and said yes, but this was 1928. So what they were actually asking was, does she want to be the first woman passenger? The men would be the actual pilots. So after the trip, Amelia was like, well, that was exciting, but I actually want to fly the plane across the Atlantic as the pilot. And so she did. It took her 20 hours and she was the first woman to do so. Over the next few years, Amelia became a leader in aviation. She broke so many records, not just as a woman, but as a pilot. She didn't just follow her passion. She worked hard to make it easier for other women too. She wrote books, she lectured, she encouraged women all around the world. Chelsea asked me why she was my role model. And there are so many reasons. Her perseverance, her positive attitude, her bravery. To me, she is proof that you can be anything but you can also help others be anything too. In celebration of Amelia Earhart, she helped change the world. I wanted to tell you about another fun tradition my family and I do. You should totally try it. What we do is we write letters to ourselves in the future. Look, this is one of my favorite ones. I drew this when I was five years old. I wanted to be a dancer, doctor, astronaut, and princess when I grew up. <laughs> you know, I remember I had this one particular friend who would tease me about it, like I could only be one thing. Really? So I Googled that exact profession. Dancer, doctor, astronaut, and princess. Look what came up. Can you believe it? Mae Jemison, a real person. Doctor, check. Astronaut, check. An astronaut who's been in space even and dancer, check. That's right, a dancer. She studied with Alvin Ailey. She even brought a poster of him with her when she went to space to prove the point that art and science don't need to be divided. So don't let anyone tell you that you only get to choose one thing in life. Life is long, fill it up. Oh, as for the princess part, look. Anyone who has floated in space, danced in West Side Story, can cure illness and injury, and teaches little kids about the possibilities of science, well, they are a leader to me. And everyone knows the best princesses are good leaders. Hi, everyone. You will never believe who I got the chance to interview. Ballerina Misty Copeland. She took time out of her busy schedule to sit down and talk with me. How cool is that? Okay, Misty, let's start with the serious questions first. Cheese or pepperoni? <laughs> hmm, cheese or pepperoni? At this point, I'm gonna say cheese since I stopped eating meat, but I loved pepperoni when I did eat it. Cheese or pepperoni for you, Barbie? Oh, <laughs> uh, probably cheese. There's nothing better than melted cheese. <laughs> 
What is your dream role? I've already performed it, it's Juliet, but I, maybe in the future something I haven't done and have wanted to do since I discovered ballet is Kitri in the ballet Don Quixote. Oh, I've never seen that. I'll have to add it to my list. Barbie, do you like ballet? I love ballet. Actually, my sister Chelsea is studying it right now and she wanted to know if you have any advice on how to remember the five positions. Well, I think you just have to go in order. And I think that first position is the easiest to do. So that should come first. And I think as you go higher with each position, they get a little more, a little more tricky. So fifth position by far is something that you need to work your way into. So know that that one's last because you end up like a pretzel. I like pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great advice. Um, what's some good advice that you've been given? Not let other people's words define me. I think that's really important for me to understand as a performer when you're used to being criticized a lot. That makes sense. Well, what are three simple things that make you happy? Ballet, music, and food. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Um, what is your biggest fear? Um, yeah, I think one of my biggest fears, even just growing up, was, is, is letting, letting someone down. I think that's what makes me such a hard worker, and I think that's what's made me succeed in my, in my career and in my craft. Wow. Well, what's something that you would tell someone when they're facing their biggest fear? To just do it. I think there's no real way of preparing for something that seems scary and you just kind of have to dive into it um, and know that you're going to, you're going to come out of it standing on, standing on both feet. That's so inspiring. Who was your biggest role model? Raven Wilkinson. She is a former ballerina with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo and she was an African American ballerina, the first to be accepted in the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. Oh. Who is your biggest role model, Barbie? Oh, there are just so many. Um, but definitely David Bowie, Mae Jemison, Melinda Gates. You know, I just am really inspired by people who are brave enough to stand up and stand out. Just like you are, Misty. What is one moment that you will remember forever? The day I was promoted to principal dancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you so much for being a guest on my vlog today, Misty. We cannot wait to see what amazing and inspiring thing you do next. Hey guys. <laughs> so one of the things that Ken and I share is a love of science and space. When we were kids, we used to pretend that we were space scientists that were going on crazy adventures to all these different planets. And <laughs> we had pretty big imaginations. So, our third grade teacher, Mrs. Nato, saw how much we love space and suggested that we do a project on Katherine Johnson. She was a pioneer in the space program and quickly became a role model that Ken and I share. Without her, the United States would have never put a person in space. We would have never landed on the moon. But you know what Ken and I learned? She did it with math. Space travel has been a dream for thousands of years, but it was Johnson's math that made it possible. Johnson understood that math isn't just some numbers representing abstract concepts. It's a way of expressing the natural world with a language. By studying Johnson, Ken and I learned to look at the world, the universe, in a whole new way. Math makes imagination real. Thank you, Miss Nato, for pointing us in the right direction. And thank you, Katherine Johnson, for opening up the world and the universe to us. Pace. 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 Hi! Thanks so much for watching. Check out what I made! We have had so much fun on this vlog. I'm so grateful for each of you, and I can't wait to show you everything we have in store. That's what the blank space is for.